Uh, good morning, Your Honor. May it please the court, Ben Chu for plaintiff Johnny Depp. Uh, Mr. Depp hereby moves to strike defendant Amber Heard's counterclaims because Ms. Heard has not proven by clear and convincing evidence that Mr. Waldman made the three allegedly defamatory statements with actual malice. Right, but clear and convincing is not my motion to strike standard. Under, understood, Your Honor. Okay. And we, we have cited the, the okay. standard in our brief. Thank you. Uh, moreover, Your Honor, the court should also strike defendant's claim for immunity and attorney's fees uh, based on Virginia's anti-SLAPP statute, as she is not entitled to immunity under the statute. Thank you, Your Honor. As Your Honor knows, the trial court is required to accept as true all the evidence favorable to Amber at this point, uh, as well as any reasonable inference a jury might draw therefrom, which would sustain a counterclaim. That's the correct standard here. Um, I'll address the actual malice argument first, the agency argument. Your Honor, there's plenty of evidence in the record from which the jury could determine that Mr. Waldman was Mr. Depp's agent. He made those statements. The statements referred to him as Mr. Depp's attorney. As Your Honor uh, ruled on Friday with respect to the jury instruction uh, conference, an attorney uh, is an agent of his client. Mr. Waldman testified that he's been Mr. Depp's attorney since 2016. Uh, he freely admitted speaking to the press on Mr. Depp's behalf, and he refused to answer question after question about that agency, so we can't use that as a sword now. It is not disputed that Mr. Waldman published statements and that there is a question, there is a question as to whether statements are false, and both parties disagree and have presented conflicting evidence as such. As to actual malice, Mr. Waldman made the counterclaim statements after he met with his client. In addition, there is evidence the plaintiff was with Mr. Waldman at a meeting in February 2020 with the Daily Mail online. Further, defendant claimed that she met with Mr. Waldman where he threw the paper containing the counterclaim statements within them. Uh, consequently, there is more than a scintilla of evidence that a reasonable juror may infer Mr. Waldman made the counterclaim statements while realizing they were false or with a reckless disregard for their truth. It is not my role to measure the veracity or weight of the evidence. The Fourth Circuit and the Virginia Supreme Court have made it crystal clear that actual malice is a question for the fact finder. So therefore, the plaintiff's motion to strike is denied.